Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy as Promo. Today is August 5th and Samsung just pushed off the registrations for Samsung One UI 5 beta program, which also brings you Android 13. Now this is available for the Galaxy S22, the S22 Plus, and the S22 Ultra. So how you're able to download, register, and install to your phone is that you wanna have the latest version of Samsung Members application on your phone. If you don't have the Samsung Members application, you can get it downloaded from the Galaxy Store. So once you have Samsung Members downloaded, to your device all you have to do is on the very top you're going to notice all of these different banners and i always swipe this way just so then this way you get to the latest banners that were just added and you can see here samsung one ui beta program one ui 5 with android 13 again available for the galaxy s22 series this is where you go through and you hit on register now i've already registered and signed up for this but you want to scroll all the way down to the bottom and you hit on register or sign up the option that i have here is withdraw just because i've already signed up and if you do want to withdraw, you are able to do that. But I highly suggest if you already have it downloaded to your phone, you have it installed, I wouldn't withdraw from then. I would withdraw before it's actually onto your physical device. So once you sign up, it'll mention it'll take up to 10 minutes for it to push over to your phone. For me, it took about 30 seconds. So again, once you sign up and you register, you go to the very, very top underneath settings and you just go down to your software update. This is where you search for a little update that's pushed to your phone and it's going to sit right here. Again, mine was pushed within about 30 seconds. It could take up to 10 minutes. If you have to sign up, restart the phone, turn it on, then you go inside and you can get it downloaded. But hopefully for you guys, it's the same situation. It only takes about 30 seconds. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna read through these main bullet points here, just kind of let you know everything that's brand new with not only One UI 5, but also Android 13. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back, I'm gonna play with this, dig deep, and I'm gonna find the top 10 features or pretty much everything that is brand new so you can see everything in action rather than me just going through and, and highlighting the, all of the changes. This video is mostly just to kind of put it up really quick for you guys so you can, you can sign up and get this one downloaded to your phone right away without me having to wait a day or two to you know get this out to you but you can see here that this one is come with that security patch august 1st it's basically 2.8 almost 2.9 gigs and the version ends with zvh4 so let's just go through we're going to download the rest of this so it can finish but all i'm going to do here is again highlight everything that is brand new and then i'll come back with a deep dive video of all the top 10 best features so right here this is just talking about one ui5 upgrade with android 13. one ui5 brings you more powerful personalization and makes it easier to get things done across your Galaxy devices. So first off, you'll have more options for your color palette, which means when you have a background wallpaper set up, you'll have an option to choose from up to 16 color themes based on the wallpaper, as well as preset color themes that aren't related to your wallpaper. There is stack widgets on your home screen. So basically all you'd have to do is find those widgets that are the same size and you can actually stack them on top of each other. And then you can have all of them if you have three or four of them next to each other on a home screen. It takes up basically the whole home screen. But if you have them all stacking, you can actually swipe through those widgets that are stacked on top of each other. And so then again, you're able to swipe and switch between the widgets in one spot. Again, saving a bunch of space. You can easily see who is calling. So you can set a different call background for each contact. You easily can see who's calling with just a quick glance. So you can put, you know, maybe a red uh, call background image for someone, maybe a blue one for someone else. And you know exactly who is calling by a quick glance of maybe the color or whatever dance moves is happening with that call background you can get only the notifications you allow. So when you use an app for the first time after you get this update here, you'll be asked whether you want to receive notifications from it. So you can feel free to say no uh, for the ones that you don't want to disturb you. You have easier access to app notification controls. So you can reorganize notification settings, placing app notification controls on the top. You can choose which types of notification apps can send. So basically if you get a notification, you can have it choose between a pop-up notification app icon badge and notifications on the lock screen. So you can really kind of change how you want things to come through on your phone. Stay on top of reminders due today. So with the reminders application, it's gonna show everything from today towards the very top. You can show and hide completed uh, reminders. You can choose the right view for your reminders. You can set a language for each app. So if you want different apps in one language and then another one in another, you are able to get that done. You can edit your lock screen wallpaper collection. So after 
after selecting a group of images to use for your lock screen wallpaper, you can easily add or remove things later. So the download is done and complete. I just have to hit on install, but before we install it, I'm gonna still go through the rest of this list. Let's see. You can customize the spacebar row in Samsung keyboard. You can choose which function keys and punctuation marks to show in the bottom row of the keyboard next to the spacebar. Improved sound and vibration settings. So it looks like that they set the ringtone, vibrations, sound settings, pretty much all in the same place. Uh, so if you wanna change the vibration intensity, that's one of the things you are able to do. Now underneath the be productive area here, you can extract text from uh, any image or screen. So you can extract text using Samsung keyboard, internet, gallery, or whatever you take a screenshot. You can paste the result into a message, email, or a document instead of you typing. You get suggestions based on text in images, meaning if you open up your gallery or do something with the camera, if there is a, a, a website or text or a phone number, all you'd have to do is just tap on it and then you're able to call that number or visit the website. Uh, you can do more with connected devices. So let's talk about quick share, smart view, Samsung decks. You can switch your view with a gesture. So switch from full screen screen to split screen view by swiping inward with two fingers from the left, right side, or bottom of the screen. You can switch from full screen to pop-up view by swiping inward with one finger from either corner of the top of the screen. So a lot of this you'd be able to go through. You can have it on or off within settings. You can quickly open apps in split screen. So just drag an app from the recent screen to the side of the screen where you want it to open. You can actually use several timers at once. So instead of you just having one timer, you can have two running at the same time. Don't know if you can do more, but it says here that you can start a new timer in the clock app, even if another timer is still running. Uh, more control over calendar event invites, enhanced taskbar in Samsung Dex, new notification indi indicator in Dex, mini calendar in Dex, better support for physical keyboards, and that would again probably be within Dex, more powerful search in My Files, again, talking about Dex, and then redesign digital well-being. The digital well-being app has been redesigned to make it easier to access the features you need, like screen time reports and app timers, bedtime mode and focus modes have been moved to Bixby routines. So if you're somebody who uses focus modes or bedtime mode, it will now be in Bixby routines. Now, speaking about Bixby routines, bedtime mode moved to Bixby routines, as it just <laughs> stated right there. Choose modes based on your activity, uh, you know, such as exercising, studying, working, and then choose what you want your phone to do in each situation. Easier to discover preset routines, check running routines quickly, uh, more actions and conditions for your routines. For Express Yourself, you'll have new emojis available for emoji pairs. So there'll be more than 80 additional emojis are available for creating emoji pairs. Uh, you can combine emojis based on animals, foods, and other objects. You also have new AR emoji stickers. So there'll be new stickers are available for download. So you can always have the right sticker to express your uh, emotions. There's more default stickers for your AR emoji. So now there's 15 stickers are created by default, giving you more ways to express yourself. You have transparent backgrounds for AR emoji stickers. You can create videos with two emojis together. Uh, use any picture as your emoji background. You can add stickers to your Google Calendar, create stickers from any picture new stickers in photo editor. So there are 60 new preloaded emoji stickers are available for decorating your pictures. More ways to edit GIFs. Uh, you can rearrange expression buttons in Samsung keyboard. So you can touch and hold the emojis, the stickers and other buttons to rearrange them. And then you can enter Koemoji directly from Samsung keyboard. So you can spice up your chats and text with preset Japanese style facial expressions created using keyboard symbols. Underneath pictures and videos, you can get help with pro mode. So there will be now a help icon will appear in pro and pro video modes. Uh, histogram is in pro mode here. So you can get a really good image for brightness of each tone, you know, to help your perfect exposure. Zoom more easily with one hand. So the zoom bar has been condensed so you can zoom in or out faster with a single swipe. Easily go back into photo mode. So when you're inside of your camera modes, it says that when you go inside of that more menu, there will be a back button now available to take you back to the photo mode at any time. Add watermarks to your pictures. Uh, telephoto lens is now supported in food mode all new look for stories, choose filters more easily. The next category is quicker Bixby when you need it most. So faster than ever on device mode, uh, saves Bixby commands to your phone so they work faster and don't require data connection. Answer calls, alarms, and timers without high Bixby. So instead of you saying the high Bixby, 
uh, which I just said there, you can just say answer the phone or turn off the alarm. So it's going to just listen for those words rather than the activation word. You can stay safe and secure. So check your phone's security status at a glance. The new security dashboard and settings shows whether your phone has uh, any security issues and helps you fix them quickly. Uh, get help in an emergency so you can quickly press the side key button five times to call emergency services, even if your phone is in your pocket and you're not able to talk. Uh, integrated emergency contact list. Uh, you also have get a warning before you share personal information. Uh, security and privacy information for websites. So it's going to say an icon will appear in the address bar and in Samsung Internet to show you a site security status. Tap the icon to learn which information the status or the website collects and tracks. Uh, accessible to everyone. So there's more accessibility options in the quick panel, you know, such as high contrast font, color inversion, color adjustment, and so on and so forth. Magnifier is easier to access, more spoken assistant. Uh, you have improved support for braille displays. Easily edit your accessibility button. Uh, new actions available for corner actions. And then additional changes. So there's a new layout for notifications. The screen calls uh, before you answer. So let calls be answered automatically to ask the reason for the call. If you can't or don't want to talk, uh, you can just uh, tap or type a response that will read aloud to the caller. Drag and drop bookmarks between folders. You can play sound on your PC with link to Windows. Uh, check your battery's health. Uh, more options for RAM Plus. So RAM Plus can now be turned off completely in device care if you don't need it or don't want it uh, to use any storage space. Uh, show app names in App Edge panel. So if you use the App Edge panel, which I do all the time, you can actually turn on the show app names to make app names appear below the app icons. And then Galaxy themes, some downloaded themes may not be compatible with Android 13. If your theme isn't compatible, your phone's default theme will be used after upgrading. So my guess is that they probably have more options, but then some of them may not, you know, switch over from Android 12 to Android 13. So that is everything that is brand new. Uh, this is the highlight of everything for Samsung Winnie Y 5.0 with Android 13. I'm going to install this right now, uh, and then you'll just be on the lookout for the next video where I pretty much go over, over everything in terms of the top 10 features, or I just want to show some of these off physically, actively. But right now I want to get this video out to you guys. So you can head over into the Samsung members application, get this downloaded and registered if you're interested. If you're not interested right now and you want to wait for the full launch of Samsung Win Y 5.0 with Android 13, you can just wait and you can stay, you know, uh, sitting in your chair, waiting for this next video of the top 10 features of everything that I'm downloading right now. So hopefully you guys appreciated this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe, subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you appreciated this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later. Thank you